The idea that sex sells technology was grossly misrepresented during the development of the first enormous computers. The lovely women in these antique images, which were taken from old periodicals and newspapers from those bygone decades, are dressed as scantily as the period's decency permitted in order to promote and advertise computers. During the 1970s, technological advancements, including falling hardware costs and growing computer miniaturization, led to the emergence of new computer markets. Small businesses could use free computers or time-sharing services to acquire access to mainframes. Major technical, organizational, and social changes in the workplace that were brought on by the rise in computer use led to a large portion of existing business processes being converted to electronic data processing, which quickly increased the demand for new work credentials in manufacturing and offices. Beginning in the 1960s, businesses started utilizing computer systems. Computer centers installed these systems. Such a computer center had such high operating costs that in order for the systems to be profitable, they had to be running day and night. Only big businesses produced such enormous amounts of data. As a result, the first organizations to establish computer centers were major banks and insurance corporations. There were just a few very well-known computer experts working there, both operators and programmers who created the software. The microcomputer entered the small business market in 1975. Small firms were able to compete with major corporate organizations thanks to microcomputer technology's capacity to evaluate business data. The initial uses of computers relied on their superiority over humans in regularly carrying out straightforward commands, such as tabulating census results. With the development of word processors, spreadsheets, and email, among other pieces of software, computer hardware's capabilities increased significantly throughout time. However, the 1980s saw the triumph of a notion that only a select few visionaries had dared to consider. They introduced the personal computer, or PC, which brought the computer to every desk. In 1981, when IBM eventually released their first personal computer, MS-DOS, which was regarded as the backup operating system, was met with criticism. The IBM PC became the industry standard for office applications because buyers valued Big Blue's reputation over the product's technological capabilities. But in 1984, the Apple Macintosh's operating system was a revolution. The Mac did not do well until a program called Desktop Publishing debuted for which the Mac was more suited than any other computer. This program brought icons, windows, and mice to desktops. Of course, advancements in semiconductor technology contributed to this development. Moore's Law serves as an example of this industry's dynamism, 